I am the terror who destroys in the night. I am the blue blur who rolls around at the speed of sounds. I am the guardian in the castle of Hyrule. I am the CJ Destroyer! <laughs> What's good, my dudes? CJ, back again for another video. Here, I'm gonna talk about the Nintendo Direct that just happened, like last week over by Wednesday. The school day, pretty much. So, let's just start it off. We can just talk about the simple games. Going through, like, the big games, you know. So, the way they uh, present it, they just did it with headlines, you know, and then they'll just start with the big game, talk about it, mostly, but uh, they didn't talk about it mostly, so uh, that's a kind of like spoiler, spoiler there, so we can just talk about some games that they mentioned, which kind of doesn't make me feel interested at all. So, they show, like, Napoli, of course, okay. I can just play the board game, of course, and they had, you know, um, hey Pikmin, hey, we got a new uh, 2D Pikmin on 3DS, looks pretty cool, I mean, they got an amiibo, but not my interest, uh, I, I don't know, it's probably me, and some other um, game classics, which are like ports, like Neo Geo, Namco games, and Minecraft, I mean, Come on, Minecraft, it's the same thing. You put it on PC, you put it on Xbox, you put it on PS4, you put it on Wii U. You're just gonna put it on Nintendo Switch? Hey! Okay. Uh, Minecraft Switch. So, yeah. Um, that's something like that. Now we can just talk about uh, the hype. The hype moments that came in the Direct. First off, the Amiibos, they come out. They had the good Zelda uh, Amiibo Saturday they announced. They had like the Twilight Princess, Skyward Swords, and the Majora's Mask, which looks pretty nice. I, I, I would prefer the Majora's Mask more than the other ones, but the main ones had to be the Super Smash Brothers Amiibo. The weighted, you know, development stuff that came around ever since 2015 like geez we're kind of getting old so they're bringing back cloud bayonetta gabe's favorite and uh corin so yeah hopefully there'll be uh i don't know release somewhere in the summer so that's pretty good but the main ones that i really like you know uh because i'm a sonic fan it has to be Sonic Mania, because it's a 2D game, the classics, basically uh, for the classic fans that are, you know, uh, came, came around in the 90s, they're more into the Sonic 2, Sonic 3 era, you know, and they're gonna get um, good representation for the game, I mean, new game, um, new stages, you know, and redesigned stages that came from the past, so yeah, that's the thing. But it looks pretty cool. I mean, I will get it. I will get it. Don't get me wrong. But the 3D game we need to talk about, Sonic Forces. So they showed it. Um, they showed a little bit some uh, stuff that we already know. We got Modern Sonic. The boost formula is back. That's a okay, my opinion. And they showed uh, five seconds of the classic Sonic footage, which, hey, that looks pretty cool. I mean, of course, Green Hill has to come in. Like, come on, come on, people. We, are you gonna add Green Hill every time? I mean, it's been like five games. How many more Green Hills do you need? Hey, hey, hey. And then Sega was like, hey, hey, chill. Now, you know, Sonic, this is classic Sonic's home. This is where he relaxes, so just deal with it okay okay <laughs> so yeah they show like uh, footage for classic sonic which looks looks pretty improving i mean the sonic animation you know where he just swirls around like from sonic cd mania and 
Yeah, this one looks pretty cool. But the main one, the third character. Ooh, who will it be? People are speculating who is this cat character will be. Is it Bubsy? Is it the cat from Sonic Boom? Is it Dave the Entertain Intern? Who? Who's that? I don't know. Find out. This is supposed to be the unexpected character, so stay tuned, my Sonic dudes. Uh, you'll see this mysterious character. So yeah, had to get that out of the way. And on to the big games that that we're supposed to focus on in the direct, which are ARMS and Splatoon 2. First we can talk about ARMS now. It's basically like a new IEP similar to like Splatoon where you're just like these punch up um, little Mac dudes just punching with these long arms, uh, you know, mechanical things. And you're just beating them up. You can customize your own like arms, which is good. Um, that's new info right there. Now, they didn't show much in my opinion. I expect they should have had a little more, like everybody else been saying, over like a couple of days. But they show like one character, which I'm really <laughs> down for it. Her name was Mimin, and she's starting to be like my new uh, character, my new wife. I, I mean, ramen girl, ramen girl, oh ramen girl. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Uh, so she has some cool, you know, power ups and. Um, know final moves that she could do has the dragon arm has the ramen <laughs> ridiculous the uh ramen arm that she has and i like it i like it just c calm down dudes i just like it and yeah that's pretty much it i mean they, they, they should like at least put more into you know into these directs like Sure, 39, 35 minutes, show the other games, but at least put a little bit more on the big games. If you're focusing on, like, the big, detailed games, just talk, talk a little bit more about that. That's what the people want. You know what I'm saying, dudes? So, yeah. And last but not least, Splatoon 2 is one of my favorites that I will get for the Switch. Uh, they, they basically like show one thing well a couple or like a few despite having amiibos and the photograph thing but the main one has to be like this new mode that I'll have in the game which is called salmon run which I think it is that's what it's called yeah it is basically just a call of duty uh, zombie thing so Splatoon zombies is a real thing they're ripping it off <laughs> So, but, uh, but anyway, so it, it looks pretty cool. I mean, these salmon looking dudes look like some weird kaiju looking dudes just coming out of the water and just evading this territory. And the Inklings have to stop it with their own fire, fire power ups, fire power ups or something. And oh, the cool thing is like if people are, you know, dead, you can let them be resuscitated you can bring them back to life work that they work together the um, you know that, that's yeah <laughs> but uh that's basically what they showed in the direct so like my overall thoughts i would say like and eh, like average like they show like like it's it's middle like you have the hype games right here and then you got the boring and you know non-interesting games over here so yeah that's basically what they show but but it is okay it, it's just like um an appetizer for nintendo e3 they all have some good games coming out on 3d and i am freaking hyped if you know what I'm saying, yeah, right, yeah, 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 so, that's my only thought, so, hope you guys like this video, if you did, give it a like, comment, and subscribe, anyways, CJ is out, a peace, a destroyer, Darkwing Duck!